Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys how to curl your hair for beginners. And I'm going to show you guys like the perfect tool to use. That will make curling so much more easier because I like easy and easy. Easy is just what's best. Okay, so I already did the back of the hair. I felt like I didn't have to show you guys the whole entire process of curling it because it's just repetitive and unnecessary. So this is how it looks once we are completed. But I'm going to do the front with, with you guys. Okay, so if you want to learn how to curl for beginners, what you're going to want to meet, want to use is a wand curl. Now, the reason why I say I use a wand curl is because it's just so much more easier, straightforward than the curlers that you have to clip and then, and then wrap the hair around because there's a technique to that that I never could catch. No matter how many years I've been trying to do it, I can't catch, but wand curls is the easiest and it's perfect for beginners because all you have to do, wrap the hair around the wand and then you get these curls that I showed you guys. So that's what I'm going to show you. Now this one, I feel like I got it on Amazon. I'll link it down below. It comes with like four or five different heads. So it gives you different curls based on the head, but I put on the thickest burl on this because I just wanted like really simple and big uh, curls, okay? I feel like this curler, this wand curl, is not really constructed properly because some one curls they have like a, a holder like a caution holder thing at the top here where you can hold on to but this one doesn't so i think this is why they provide you with a glove that so you don't burn yourself because usually you can hold on to the top and then you won't burn yourself if you really want to and it just goes from zero one two three whatever again it was affordable on amazon um i think it was like 20 something dollars and then you get the five different heads and then the glove now i don't have the glove so you just have to be careful i don't know where it is so that's the basics okay so if you want easy curls and you want to achieve them fast you got a wand curl trust me this is going to make it so much more easier i it's all about technique and i feel like i only have to show you like once for you guys to understand how to do it instead of me doing a whole entire head so you just want to separate a section. I don't really do them as big. I'm going to show you guys how I do it at the front. Okay, so this is why I like this one because all you have to do is that you grab it, make sure you grip it tight, and then you wrap around it like this. Make sure when you're wrapping it, you're wrapping it very tight and you're holding onto it. Like you're pulling it and wrapping it. And then I wrap away from, when I'm doing the front of the hair, I wrap away from the hair. And I'm still holding it tight. Just so like you're framing your face. So when you curl your hair from your face, it's framing the face compared to the back. The back, it doesn't really matter. And as you guys can see, I'm wrapping the hair with the wand standing up. You can wrap it any way and it won't make a difference on how the curls look, just to let anyone know. And then I count usually to 10, 10 times. So I'd be like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I do that 10 times. And then usually when I do that 10 times, I let it go. And then my hair is curled. So as you can see, the curl is so nice and it's so easy. I never do those um, ones that you have to clip and wrap it and do like all these flicks in. No, no, I don't have time for that. I'm not gonna, I don't think I'll ever be able to catch it. So I'm just gonna do the same for up here. So this is, I feel like is the best tool and the best way to curl for beginners. Okay, if you're not a beginner, you just want to see how wand curls look, you can. Oh, let me show you guys. So it's, I know some people, they hold, hold the wand curl down and then wrap it. You can do that. This is just difficult for me. And then what you can do is put hairspray um, to hold the curl. So as you can see, it curled again. Because as you can see, the ones at the back here are dropping already because I didn't put hairspray in it. And then pull up. Basically, it's the same thing and it's very repetitive the whole entire time. And then some people uh, curl it the side. Some people hold it to the side like this and it still won't make a difference. So you just want to grip it tight and pull it tight. I have to show you on the white part of the mannequin so you guys can see the curls. Supposedly it's a thing people don't, people would prefer watching hair tutorials on a mannequin instead of having it on the person's head. I didn't know that. So this is why I'm doing this tutorial on the mannequin head instead of usually doing it on my head. As you guys can see, all I'm doing is having it and I'm wrapping it. This is so easy. I'm telling you, I've tried the ones where you clip and you have to flip the hair and turn it and twirl it and flip it and turn it and twir twirl it. And I was like, I cannot catch it. My curls look so bad. They don't stay. They look wavy. <laughs> Again, this is really hot. So you guys want to be careful because all this whole entire barrel right here is hot. And this curl is okay. The reason why I'm brushing it is just to tame the flyaways. Make everything look sleek. As you can tell, I already put like hairspray and mousse, and this was just like from prior. 
I hope you all are seeing well. It's because the hair is super dark. Again, this is all repetitive. This is why I only wanted to do the top of the hair to show you guys. It just honestly, but it's so basic. It just goes up to one, two, three. Usually they will have <gasps> plastic. Oh! Plastic went on this. What the beep? Oh, that's another thing. They provide, they provide this part to hold the, the barrel up but sometimes it doesn't even work and it still goes on the thing that you're on so you guys make sure that you buy like a heating tool mat from amazon or you guys just be careful how you're placing this because literally plastic just got on that and i have to wipe it off so i'm pulling it may not look like i'm pulling tight but i'm pulling the hair really really tight you guys have to be careful with this okay and then last one just the same thing Just got burnt. Yeah, so this is the part that's supposed to be on, but it doesn't even work. Sometimes it still falls. Guys, the smaller that the section is, this was really curled out, but the smaller the section is, the faster it curls, just to let you know. Um, I don't really care because I'm gonna loosen them up, but basically, this is how you guys curl with one curls. Easy, simple. Okay. Then as you can see, I framed all the hair from the face just to make it look a little bit more realistic. And then what you can do is you can rub your, um, okay, so this is how it looks. How to wand curl for beginners, super easy, super easy curls. They're dropping now, but they still look good. So if you want them super tight, put the hairspray in and leave them tight. But if you do, don't really care, I just let them drop a little bit and they're going to look so good. So that's how you guys one curl for beginner. How to curl in general, okay? Start off with one curls if you want to start. If you want to get into curling hair, just start off with one curls and then you guys can get the grip of it and see if you guys like it and stuff. Okay, so I just wanted to like go over everything because this video is really fast. So basically I was just saying that like for beginners, using a curly one is way better. I kept on saying one curls. <laughs> in the video to refer to the curling one but i feel like for beginners if they want to get into curling a wand curl is the best tool that you can use because it's so easy and you can achieve such easy and effortless curls with a wand curl and as you guys can see it takes like a few seconds so in total this probably took me like a whole hour to do and the thing is like at the back i did some bigger and then around the front i mostly focused it on being a little bit more smaller so if you want your whole entire hair to be like really small wand curls and it's probably going to take a little bit longer but i still feel like wand curling using a wand curler is so much more faster than a barrel curler and the reason curler and the reason for that as i told you is that when you're using a barrel curler you have to like flip the hair clip it open back up the clip flip it back again like it's just so much that i'm just like yeah i don't have time for all that <laughs> so that's why i like wand curls and it's so easy, but again, as I said, you guys have to be cautious with uh, curling ones because the whole entire barrel is super hot, and that's why they provide a glove. I a glove with this with this curling one that I have here. I cannot find the glove that they provided me with. I don't know where it is, so I'm just like I just proceed with caution. So if any of you guys are interested in buying this curling one, it does come with a glove just to let you know if a lot of people are just very cautious and i'm going to link this curly one down below in the description box i bought it from amazon it's a really good really gucci i would recommend as i told you because it's super affordable and it works well okay when it comes to these tools i just need something that works well that's within my budget and it's just really good <laughs> okay so i just want to show you guys how it looks as you can see it lights up led and it just goes for one two three to show the heat level intensities and that's really it guys so we're just gonna wrap it up so this is it for today's video i want you guys to comment down below what you think any questions any tips did you guys find this video useful let me know down below or give this video a thumbs up i also have a lot more hair tutorials on my channel hair based videos on my channel so you guys can definitely check them out yeah so these are the basics and the steps these are the basic steps on how to wand curl your hair very easy guys again if you're a beginner start off with wand curling before you go into barrel curling that's what they're called and follow me on instagram and Adams. make sure you guys turn on the notification bell 
and everything like that. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Au revoir.